Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining the webinar today. My name is Ray Chen. I'm the technical winemaking support for an artist specific. This week, our focus of the webinar is on um, vegan finding products on Finnish wines. Traditionally, the use of protein-based finding products is a standard approach for winemaking, and these proteins typically derive from an animal origin. So, for example, um, egg albumin, casein, which is milk, icing glass from fish, and gelatin from collagen of various animal species. Now, animal proteins might impose an um, allergenic or intolerant potential that their residual presence in the wine may pose an important risk um, to sensitive individuals. In this sense, um, according to the EU regulations, oral potential allergenic finding agents present in wine with um, a concentration above 0.25 micrograms per liter are required to be declared on a wine label. And on top of that, over the past few years, we've seen a steady increase on the interest of um, vegan and vegetarian friendly wines in the market due to culture and ideological aspects. So the global increase in vegetarian and vegan consumers in the wine sector has highlighted the necessity to make wines using finding products that are not derived from an animal origin. In this sense, winemakers now are seeking for substitute products with properties and applications similar to traditional animal-derived finding agents. And based on the request, we have developed a range of finding products majorly consists of plant-derived proteins to respond to the market's request. Know that besides plant proteins, um, finding products such as bentonite, chitosan, carbon, etc., which naturally do not come from an animal origin, is also permitted in vegan winemaking. So for a complete list of an artist's products allowable for the processing of vegan and vegetarian wines, you can access this through our online website under the tab of products and set a special wine filter to vegan. And any products with the green leaf logo here indicates that this product is allowed to be used in vegan and vegetarian friendly wines. So for the purpose of this webinar, we'll be mainly focusing on products with plant-derived proteins and any other finding products with um, selective purpose. The webinar will be split into two fractions. So today we'll cover um, plant-based finding pro products with general or multiple finding purposes. That is, for example, to facilitate clarification, heat stabilization, lease compaction, reduce bitterness and oxidizable compounds. And the second webinar will focus more on finding agents um, without the plant proteins and designed for more specific purpose, mostly for remediation of faults or teller to target more individual requirements, such as um, removal of sulfur-related reductive off-compounds, smoke tan, volatile phenols, and metals, etc. And some of the products will be also suitable for application prior to fermentation or during juice stage. But for this webinar, we'll emphasize on their application post-alcoholic fermentation um, during the wine stage. So I want to start with introducing our latest innovation of two complex finding products, um, Clara ZW and Clara ZR, for the purpose of clarification and stabilization after fermentation. So Clara ZW is a vegan finding agent designed for white wines, consists of hydrolyzed PM potato protein, hydrolyzed um, chitosan and sodium activated bentonite. This product is designed to assist with the rapid clarification, hence the drop in turbidity, while heat stabilizing the wine in one step. And for any wines that are not considered to be highly protein unstable, this step is able to substitute your subsequent bentonite addition for heat stabilization after the alcoholic fermentation. Clara ZR, on the other hand, is designed for red wines with a combination of potato protein, chitosan, and sodium calcium bentonite. Again, designed for a rapid clarification and drop in turbidity without um, stripping color compounds aggressively. And the bentonite in Clara ZR is intended to facilitate the compaction of leaves. 
And for the chemistry background behind the plant proteins, we'll cover that later on in the presentation when looking to our plant protein product range um, planters. Looking to more details on Clearol ZW, to re-emphasize the main focus of this product is to rapidly achieve clarity and heat stability in one step without significant impact on um, aromatic profile and sensory profile of the wine, which could be the case when aromatically striping products um, such as bentonite and PVPP are used at a higher dosage. For moderately protein unstable wines, we have found that Clara ZW by itself is sufficient enough to heat stabilize the wine. And for the highly protein unstable wines, the product can be used in conjunction with Pluxpento, the Zauer sodium based bentonite. And based on lab uh, laboratory trials, the addition rate of bentonite required was um, 30 to 40% less when using conjunction with Clara ZW. Um, the product can also be used with a small dosage of PVPP for oxidized wines or wines um, sensitive to browning and pinking. And the plant protein and chitosan in the blend also helps to absorb any um, potential sulfur-related reductive aromas. So for sensory attributes, um, the spider web presents comparison between a control white wine um, the same one treated with 1 grams per liter of Pluxpento, the bentonite, and 0 0.7 grams per liter of Clara ZW, which is within the recommended standard dosage range. And Clara ZW has shown to be more respectful towards the sensory attributes of the wine compared to bentonite. It was less striping and um, displayed more similar attributes to RC control, especially on the perceived um, longevity and aromatic intensity on the palate. In regards to efficiency as a clarifying agent, um, Clara ZW is found to be comparable with um, the combination of bentonite and gelatin. So here we use the combination of um, Fineco and Pluxpento and fine co with Plox Compact as benchmarks. And the later combination has been found to be the most effective combination on reducing um, NTU and rapid clarification from our gelatin and bentonite product range. For Clara ZR, um, the vegan fining blend for red wines, the purpose of the application is again, rapidly achieve clarification as well as removing any excessive astringency related to the contribution from phenolic compounds without significantly altering the sensory attributes. Again, it can be used in conjunction with a light dosage of PVPP to reduce um, bitterness and brighten the color if the wine is oxidized or it's very sensitive to oxidation. We've carried out a sensory comparison as well between a red wine control, a red wine treated with gelatin and plux compact, and the same wine treated with Clara ZR. Um, Clara ZR was found to um, display attributes uh, comparable to the control, whereas the wine treated with gelatin and plux compact, the bit tonight, displayed um, less aromatic intensity, complexity, cleanliness, and showcased more perceived notes of bitterness. Moving on to our Plantis range. So this is the range of pea and potato protein based planting products, which we've developed over the years. Um, unlike the Clara ZW and ZR, whose applications are on wine, these products can also be used throughout the winemaking process, on juice, um, during flotation, and on wine as well. So we'll focus on the application of these products on wine. Within the range, um, we have five different products, and I've listed them here comparing the various properties they carry. So Plantis AF and Plantis AFL are pure pea, pro uh, pea protein in powder and in liquid form. L stands for liquid. Plantis AFQ is a blend of pea protein with um, chitosan in powder form, and Q stands for chitosan. Plantis AFP is a pure potato protein, um, P standing for potato, and Plantis PQ is a blend of potato protein with chitosan. 
and you can see um, in the chart products with um, cortisone in, uh, in composition tends to showcase better finding effectiveness compared to pure um, plant protein products. And I'll go into the details on the reason behind that in the next few slides. Amount of range, plant is AF, AFQ and PQ are allergen free. Plant is AFL and AFP, um, contains trace amount of sulfur, which is considered as an allergen. The way plant proteins work as finding agents are similar to animal proteins. So protein finding products are often blends of denatured or partially denatured proteins, which aggregate on contact with tannins and cations, as well as colloids or as a consequence of pH changes, entrap the undesired species resulting in precipitation. Uh, both pea and potato, despite being largely consumed worldwide, rarely induce allergies, hence can be declared as allergen-free. Pea belongs to the legume family, and the soluble glycoproteins from potato has been widely applied in food industry due to its functional effect, um, even before it was introduced in winemaking. So these proteins were also widely used um, as, for say, water binder in meat and sausages, fomiates um, in confectionaries, bakeries, and dairy products, as well as um, emulsifiers in spreads and sauces, etc. The main difference between these two sources is the difference in sensory contribution to wine when they were added at a higher dosage level. And some research has indicated that pea protein tends to remove iron as well, more efficiently um, compared to potato protein. And hydrolysis of the plant protein is a crucial step during preparation of defining products. We found that um, enzymatic hydrolysis, which reduces the protein size but keeping the hydrophobic binding size intact, can greatly enhance the accessibility to compounds such as catechins and therefore improve the finding efficiency of the proteins. As we previously mentioned, a um, few of our plant products contain um, cytosine, and this compound is produced by the hydration of a nitrogenous polysaccharide chitin. The physiological properties of um, chitosan are determined largely by its molecular weight, hence um, the degree of hydrolysis that I've listed here, as well as the degree of um, deacetylation, uh, which is the hydration of um, chitin. A main property of chitosan you might be familiar with um, is its application as an antimicrobial agent. For example, um, our product Statmarco M is a blend of activated um, chitosan for the main purpose of prevention and inhibition of any spoilage microbial growth in wine. Uh, this property is optimized when the hydrolysis level of chitosan is relatively low. Um, for the chitosan in plantus products, they tend to be more hydrolyzed, aka um, with a lower molecular weight. And by doing so, chitosan both facilitates finding and clarification when blended with the proteins, and also has the ability to bind to sulfur-related reductive compounds. Under wine pH, a large fraction of the NH2 group on the chitosan is protonated, giving it a positive charge. And when blended with the P proteins, the overall positive charge is enhanced. Remember that proteins themselves are also positively charged, and hence improving the um, overall finding property of the proteins. So post-alcoholic fermentation will have a substantial amount of colloids in wines, and there are the compounds contributing to turbidity and astringency coming from the phenolic compounds, etc. These compounds are negatively charged, and will interact with defining agents through hydrogen bounding and hydrophobic interactions, forming complexes. And with the chitosan in the blend, this also facilitates the flocculation and formation of large complexes, and thus facilitate the precipitation of these flocks. Um, so looking at the various uh, data we've collected, here, we've done a comparison between gelatin and plantus products with the use of um, bentonite on a sensory impact of a white wine. Results were relatively similar amount products, um, but the plantus products, such as um, plantus AFQ and AFL, showed better preservation of aromatic intensity 
and persistency, hence the longevity um, of wine, compared to gelatin. Another comparison among the plant's range on drop interability um, 24 hours after the application. Plant is um, PQ here, the potato protein with the cottage in the blend, reported the lowest NTU and um, AFP, the pure potato protein, was the second. And here's another visual comparison between um, application of fine co, um, the icing glass, and Plantis products. Again, Plantis PQ reported the most significant drop in NTU after 24 hours. And you can see here the visual distinction is relatively apparent. And on catechin removals, for the purpose of prevention of browning in whites, um, as the monomeric catechins along with dimeric um, procyanidins tend to brown more intensely than other phenolics, um, Plantis PQ again had a greater reduction among all the different Plantis products. Another par uh, parameter to refer to when considering oxidation is the optical density at 420 nanometers. And Plantis PQ and Plantis AFQ, the two products containing um, chitosan, reported lowest um, A420 among all the samples, which indicates that these two treatments had the brightest colors among all. And on the sensory impact among different Plantis products on a red wine, um, products showed similar impacts, but were all able to reduce bitterness and enhance aromatic cleanliness and intensity compared to the control. And on clarification and retention of color, we compared our Plantis range with a gelatin product, um, Golden Clear Instant. While all the plant protein-based products display better color um, intensity after the treatment compared to the gelatin, the two Plantis products with um, cottesin in the blend also had a much lower NTU than the gelatin treatment after 24 hours of settling um, with 51% and 38% reduction less, respectively. So as a recap, um, here are the five products within our Plantis range. Plantis AF is the powder form of pea protein. Plantis AFL being the liquid form of the pea protein. Plantis AFQ um, being the blend of pea protein and cottesin. On the other hand, Plantis AFP consists of pure potato protein. And Plantis PQ, the latest addition to the range, is a blend of potato protein with cottesin. So as a winemaker, um, your choice of product depends on, firstly, the preference of your plant pro uh, protein source. And we've heard of, uh, from some of our customers that they prefer one over the other due to sensory contribution of the specific source of protein. And secondly, you also need to consider your exporting destination of the wines. Uh, in some countries, um, chitosan is not yet listed as an allowable additive in the winemaking process for example, um, China and Japan. And if that's the case, your option might be limited to pure plant protein products. As well as for price sensitive consumers, cost-wise pea protein will be a more economic option um, than potato protein. So this concludes our first fraction of the webinar on vegan finding. If you have any questions or inquiries, please feel free to shoot me an email and the email address is listed below. And next week we'll be discussing more selective finding products suitable for vegan and vegetarian ones. Um, so stay tuned on the webinars. Thank you everyone for your attention and enjoy the rest of your day.